Mic check one two one two. Mic check one two one two two one two two one two. <laughs> Let's go. This is your boy Josh. Thanks for tuning in. This is the Josh Harkins live show. Tonight we're talking credit. Fifty thousand dollars. That's right. Our next segment of the show. We're going to be talking about marketing and how to get in front of 2 million people. That's right, people. We're talking marketing. How to strategize. How to get your marketing campaign in front of 2 million people. That's right. We're going step by step. So get a pen and pad. You want to know how to get your brand in front of 2 million people. This is the show right here. And last but not least. We'll be talking a couple business strategies, advanced business strategy to take you guys to the top. Let's go. One of the key key bonuses we're gonna talk about tonight is how to build a community. You know, my me and my sister were chopping up. She's like, yeah, man, you gotta get these communities popping. I was like, man, listen, you ain't say nothing but a word, baby. So we're gonna talk about what's the best way to how to build a community. And the main thing we're gonna talk about is how to monetize because with a community or without a community, your main goal is to get the money, is to get the bag. That's right, people. This is the Josh Harkness Show. We live, baby. <laughs> get a pen and pad. We about to get busy. You guys know how we do it. We don't like to talk too much. We just want to get to the pen. We want the pad to the pen. All right. So once again, you guys know how I like to do the show. I want to make sure that everyone's credit is on point. I want everyone to um, not only get their credit on point, but at least be able to start this marketing and business venture off the right way, um, especially if you don't have any money saved, right? So if you got no money saved, the best way, you know, to get to a bank is by fixing your credit and leveraging a credit card and, you know, and obviously being responsible, leveraging that credit card, turn it into cash and then reinvest it into whatever it is that you want to do, right? This is called funding yourself. <laughs> All right, so let's get to it. Hope you guys can see me. I'm going to move this up a little bit. Mic check, 212. Let's get busy. All right, so the first lesson that we're going to be talking about is how to build your credit up to $50,000, right? So the first rule of thumb with credit, with credit building is always going to go back to the fundamentals, which is cleaning your credit effectively, right? Now, I know a lot of people talk about cleaning their credit, but they're not cleaning their credit effectively. Right, so let's just talk about how to actually do that real quick, right? So we got the board here. Let me see the further I go out. It's like going out of camera. Close to get to me, we in camera. And let me see if I can pull this bad boy up real quick without going too crazy. Alright. Alright guys, let's get to it. So I wanna show you guys how to build your credit to fifty thousand dollars let's get to it so once again how to build your credit right now I know most people are like bro I don't even got fifty thousand dollars cash how Am I going to build my credit portfolio up to $50,000? That's a great part because this, I want everyone to realize your nine to five job is not going to allow you to save, save but so much money, right? So you guys got to make sure that you partner with companies that's going to let you, you know, get one off on them. You know what I'm saying? Like you're trying to partner with companies that, that want, that want, to, that want you to win. All right. So a lot of companies out here don't want you guys to win because you know, the more you win, the less money they're able to make. All right, so you guys got to understand that. You got to partner with companies that want you guys to win. So in order to build your credit, uh, your credit to uh, $50,000 worth of uh, new lines of credit, right, is let's start here. Everyone has a roof over their head. So if you haven't got to this company uh, or ever heard this company called Rent, reporters.com 
guys want to get over to the website immediately, right? Number two, if you guys want to get over to uh, Navy, um, Navy Federal, right? .com. Number three, if you guys want to get over to Credit Strong. Company you guys want to get to is GrowCredit.com. Okay, hope you guys can see me here. So these are some of the companies you guys want to start with to get your credit going. Bring that down a bit, right? So rentreporters.com, federal.com, uh, creditstrong.com, growcredit.com, right? These are the companies that you guys want to partner with because they require no credit check. Okay, very important. So in order to build credit there, you want to partner with companies. If you have credit, don't have credit, it doesn't matter. If you have credit or don't have credit, you just great companies to build out your credit portfolio. Okay? So build out your credit portfolio with these companies and they require no credit check. Now how do you get the thousand dollars um, attached to your credit portfolio? All these companies here actually uh, report back to the credit bureau companies, right? So all these companies on a monthly basis report back to the credit bureau. That's how you build your credit because you're gonna open up and get a line of credit with them with no credit check, no none of that stuff, right? Um, rent reporters, right? They do a back date of two years of your rent history. Two years of rent history. Right? If you haven't gone to the website yet, you need to go to this website check out. They back date your rent history. So if your rent was, you know, a thousand dollars, you do a thousand dollars for two years. That's twenty four that's twenty four thousand dollars. Boom, that's the average, you know, rent across the board. In New York you probably have fifteen to two thousand, right? At what um, about 2400 20, 24,000 right? You go for two years, you add uh, 48,000, right? So, boom, this with that technique alone, especially if you live in big cities, or even if you live in a city where you're paying $800 a month for rent, you're still getting anywhere from twelve to $24,000 reported back onto your credit report, which is the right? Second, like if you're in the major cities, on average, your you know your, your rental income is anywhere from fifteen hundred dollars to two thousand dollars. So right there, they'll backdate your uh, lease, your rent, your rent history, and you get twenty four thousand to forty eight thousand back on the Normally, Navy Federal, you can go anywhere from like 20, uh, 2,500 all the way up to like, I heard people get like 50,000, right? 10,000, 50,000. So you can definitely get it with them. Um, and this is a credit, this is like a, this is a credit pool, I believe. This is a credit pool here, right? So only one has a credit pool would be Navy Federal. Cause that's a real actual like loan right there or credit line. Then you have Credit Strong. Credit Strong has three programs. They have the $4,500 program. They have a $10,000 program, right? And they also have the $18,000 installment program, right? So, and with this company, you can get two accounts with them. So you can do the $10,000 account, have that reporting, right? Cause all these companies report back to the credit bureau. And the other one you can do is the $18,000 one, right? So what's that, 28,000? You no, know, you guys do the math. We we running it up right now. I know I'm going quick, and I know I'm giving you guys companies to like just go to these companies and execute really quickly. But trust me, this information took a while to get, 
and all the information I'm giving you guys tonight, these companies that I'm that I have here, besides I believe Navy Federal, all the other companies actually report on my personal credit credit report. So I'm giving you guys information with companies that actually report it on a monthly basis. Okay, so once again is rentreporters.com, navyfederal.com, right? Uh, creditstrong.com, and you have growcredit.com. The other companies, if you guys are just starting, you guys probably want to focus on Grow Credit, right? You guys probably want to focus on Credit Strong. And you guys want to focus on a company called Kick Kickoff.com. Another company is called Jasper.com. Okay? These companies you guys want to start with. Alright? These these two other companies here is like a dollar to report your credit credit good credit payments on time. The other one's like um, $15, $15 a month. So if you guys don't have a huge budget or where the case may be, use these companies here, okay? All right, let me just erase this off real quick. If you guys didn't get that and you guys are just joining, every, um, every time we do a live show, the video drops or uploads onto the Facebook page. So if you guys need to like go back to anything, you guys can go back on the Facebook page, download the video and things like that. All right, so let's move, let's move forward. So now we showed you now we showed you how to build up your credit portfolio up to fifty thousand dollars. So once again, you got rent reporters, right? Dot com. They they're gonna get you back anywhere from um sorry, twenty four thousand, right? Twenty four thousand to forty eight forty eight thousand. Okay? They're gonna backdate your rent your rent payments, right? So you're going to backdate your rent history and payments right that's one this is a big one you guys want to do the next big one is going to be uh, credit strong right credit strong dot com this one has remember three three programs you got the 4500 you guys got the ten thousand dollar program and the other one is the eighteen thousand, eighteen thousand dollar program, okay. So and, and this company here allows you to do two accounts, right? So take the ten thousand, and then take the eighteen thousand, right? And do this pretty quick, you know. They always changing up things too, right? So that gives you twenty eight, right? And even if you take that, if you take that twenty four, if you got like a thousand dollars rent payment for for two years, it's cool. That's twenty four thousand. So you're twenty eight, and then you're twenty four k, right? That's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, four, five. We got you at fifty two thousand dollars reporting on your credit portfolio now, just with the information that we just gave you alone. I didn't even add the other companies yet, but the other companies will push you over to. X amount, right? So sixty, seventy thousand dollars that you guys have on the other companies like Grow Credit, the Navy Federal, right? You guys got the Credit Strong, you got Grow Credit, you got Jasper, right? You guys got um, Kickoff, right? So don't, just alone, just with these companies, just with these three companies, you got fifty thousand dollars now reported back on your credit report, which is awesome, right? But like I said, I'm just showing you guys the building part, but you guys know. We always got to clean our credit first and make sure you use the strategy that we told you. Use the 609 form, but customize it just a little bit, right? So that you're having that con, you're have you're personally having that conversation with the credit bureaus, but you're also still using the legal jargon the right way. That's number one. Make sure you use a blue pen, and also I'm going to recommend everyone not to sign, not to do a wet signature anymore. So this is an updated conversation do not do a wet signature anymore on any of your credit uh, dispute documents okay the more information you give them you know the worse all right um, number three make sure you get it notarized uh, number four make sure you get a certified uh, mail out right because you want to make sure that you have everything dated so when they start that investigation they under a timestamp right and then the last step for cleaning your credit is two things I want to. I want you guys to make sure that you guys um, opt out of 
of the 14 other credit bureaus that's one i want to make sure you guys opt out of um equifax transunion and Experian. make sure you guys opt out and make sure you freeze those three major um make sure you guys freeze those major uh, credit bureaus that reporting okay so dispute um opt out and then freeze all your accounts okay make sure you um update your name make sure you remove all the addresses that's not your current address right and that's how you start to clean your credit the right way that's number one right and number two this is how you clean your credit effectively going into 2021 all right a lot of things a lot of techniques then got played out the credit bureau companies already got hit to a lot of this shit. so a lot of time when people send out their forms it's coming back verified right so everyone got to keep in mind there's a company called oscar right that does the um underwriting of not really underwriting but this the company called oscar is a company that actually does all the you know um input output of what information is coming in for the disputes and it's a computerized system so you guys want to understand those documents that's coming through should be written documents not typed up documents and this is the reason why a lot of our information is going through verify because a lot of people are using the same type of paperwork so you know just you know it's food for thought right so make sure it's it's handwritten to a point make sure you got certain things typed in with the legal jargon and you can just keep it moving okay um so now we got you guys up to 50,000. These are the companies that you guys want to partner with. You guys understand how to clean your credit, right? Effectively. I just gave that to you guys. And once again, like I said, don't take this information for granted. I know I'm going fast because this is just what I do, right? But you guys make sure you take these notes and make sure you apply everything I'm saying because um, this is over maybe a year and a half worth of information that we're giving you within a 10 minute or 30 minute or one hour session. So don't take it for granted. And it's free content as well, right? You can't beat that. All right, move it along. Let's get into the second part of our show, which is going to be how to get in front of 2 million people with your marketing campaign and your brand, right? And your branding. Now, a lot of people don't like talking about this because we about to not say even put people out of business, but we're just going to put people up on game, right? So... Let's, let's write it out. How to get your products and services in front of two million people all right now a lot of people don't talk about these strategies a lot of people like you know this is top-notch information so I don't want you guys to like you know not understand what's going on and how everything works right so number one this is what you want to do I'm, I'm gonna put it like you know stage one stage two stage three right so let's do the first stage right so first stage right I'm gonna just right here so the first stage is that's what you want to do. Second stage, right? Um, let me put third stage, fourth stage. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get your content, how to get your brand, how to get your products and your services in front of over 2 million people. All right, so number one, make sure you guys write this down. Facebook, right, owns Instagram, right? Google and YouTube is the same thing, right? So Facebook and IG, they work together. Google and YouTube, they work together. All right. So I want you guys to understand that. So all your, um, let's say free, right, or paid campaigns, or I'm sorry, camp ads, 
especially for Facebook or IG, is going to be bouncing back and forth with each other. Okay, so that's number one. Make sure you guys understand this. Number two, Google, right? Google AdWords and Google and YouTube, your content is going to be bouncing back and forth with them. Okay? If you guys look on Google search box, especially it says picture, sometimes it says videos, right? Guess what? Anytime a person opts in here and they type in how to build a credit, guess what? Google is going to give them two, three, four companies and they're going to give them options for videos. Guess what that video thing is? Is YouTube. This is the reason why your YouTube page need to be optimizable, right? SOE built out, keyword built out, right? Exact match built out, phrase match built out, keyword built out. Because anytime a person is searching for something, they're going to find you on Google. They're going to find you on Google. Sorry about that, guys. They're going to find you on Google or they're going to find you on YouTube. Right? How many times people type in, okay, a review for a laptop or review for this or review for that or what's the best way to do this or how to do this and how to do that? Guess what? They go on Google, they search Google, and then Google recommends the, the, best, inf the best information and content that's humanly or well, computerized possible. Right? So let's not let's not act like these companies aren't doing what, what I'm talking about right now because we see that on a day-to-day -day basis. And the reason is Facebook and IG works together. Google, right? Google, Google Ads, and YouTube, they work together. Okay? Now, let's give you guys the inside scoop of how these companies work together so you guys can get in front of over 2 million people at will. You don't have to pay anybody and do all these extra things you just have to get knowledgeable right and deal with people like me who will give you the information for free because we're not trying to you know exploit our community we're trying to help our community now you want to use uh, Facebook right you want to use Facebook ad manager okay Facebook ad manager this is what you want to use right you don't want to use regular Facebook you want to use Facebook ad manager right that's number one number two in order to get in front of over two million people you want to use the other company that we talked about is Google right Google AdWords that's what you want to use Google AdWords this is the back office to Google right um, Facebook ad manager is the back office for the marketing part for uh, Facebook okay so make sure that you guys use these two channels okay third on YouTube right make sure you get an account for your brand or for your company whatever the case may be right and then you want to go into um creator studio this is where you upload your um your content this is where you put your description this is where you put your keywords this is where you put all your information your in cards and all that stuff right that's that's very important so all your video content or whatever kind of content you have that's visual video you want to make sure that you upload it on youtube but make sure you go to creator studio to get everything you know up laid, uploaded properly and optimized properly okay so anytime you send information over to Facebook it goes back to your YouTube page anytime you post anything on your Google AdWords from YouTube it goes to Google for search for search purposes but it's gonna go back to your YouTube page so if you're doing you know if you have a podcast one boom Facebook is great YouTube is great if you have an actual physical um, you know place of business Facebook is great Google is great YouTube is great you can use all those marketing handles to get people to come back one to your to your to your visual content that's one they can click on links to your landing page or to your website right and ultimately you can get them a way better experience because you're all on these you're on all these platforms that's that's called creating army presence with your marketing campaign and with your marketing strategy so anytime you have a sale guess what 
Facebook is connected to IG. Boom. Google is connected to YouTube. Boom. Now you're covering all the major platforms. Now let's talk about how to get your content in front of 2 million people. But I had to give you guys that information first. So this will make sense going forward. All right. So number one, you need to have a website, right? That's built. Sorry, that should be a TA. That's built to convert orders, okay? And to opt in new customers, okay? So if your website is not built to convert orders or sales or whatever, whatever case it would be, right? And if it's not built to opt in uh, new customers data or information, then you want to go back to your website today or tomorrow and make sure you do that. And I'm going to give you guys the key thing that you guys want to focus on, right? Let me see if I can use this piece here. So when we're talking about... When we're talking about your website, right? It should look something like this. Always a video, that's number one. Number two, opt in, right? Information pops in. Number three, right? Number three, you wanna give them another experience, right? But ultimately, you wanna get them focused on your product right so whatever that product is give them some information in the video or you drop down you give them another you give them another video and then you have them land either here they can actually opt in and start shopping right right shop 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 or order now or they get another video and then they do it again shop now right boom that's how you build out that website very simple short quick to the point we don't have all day to be doing these long ass you know landing pages with a whole bunch of stuff because people not to be funny like even me personally i have to build things based around my experience i'm not going on no damn landing page or website and reading a whole bunch of content i'm not reading all that shit. give me a video give me a little bit of of, of information I just want to make sure that you, one, you're a real company. Two, I can go to your office, or I know that you know you guys are certified, right? BBB, you got all your major, um, you know, accolades on your website. That's my main concern. And then uh, number three, I want to make sure that you guys have reviews. Okay, that's my main thing when I'm shopping. Okay, online. Now, when it, once you got this process laid out, great. The second part you always want to do is upsell. You want to sell people on more of the same goods, right? Or, right? Or you may need to downsell. All right. Maybe the price is too high and the person's gonna, you know, back out of the cart. So make sure you give them like, you know, you downsell, downsell, and give them an extra discount or something. All right. And this is how you build out your landing page, or this is how you build out your main uh, corporate website for your company. Okay. All right, cool. So make sure first stage is make sure you guys have a website that's convertible, also um, ready to take orders and to opt in customers' um, information. Okay. Now, number stage two, when you guys are trying to get um, in front of two million people, we're going to talk about it. Stage two. Let me just erase this thing here. Once again, everyone, if you guys are just joining, you guys can rewind the video and go through all the lesson plans that we talked about so you guys don't feel like you guys left behind. Also, on the Facebook page for Josh Harkness Live Show or Josh Harkness, you guys can actually go back to the video and watch the uh, replay as well. All right, so stage two is all about your pixel, right? And then stage 
three is all about your target marketing layout right so one is pixel which is a tracker right this is a website a website data tracker very important for you guys to have that right you guys can get one from Facebook they have it just type in um, when you guys go into Facebook ad manager you know you get your pixel ID from here just copy and paste it but you'll get your um, you can get your pixel ID for free with uh with Facebook and it, it just be a long copy and paste number that you gotta you guys gotta do it. But Facebook Facebook has uh Pixel, right? So make sure you guys get this one. Very important. Alright. Now you're just gonna copy and paste that pixel to your website. If you guys have GoDaddy or any kind of website, just copy and paste the pixel and then you can basically send your um your pixel in an email and then have the have your company or whatever your your web hosting company upload that pixel to your website okay and just make sure you confirm that they can do it but I know you know GoDaddy in certain places they can do it or you go into your page setting for your website and then add your pixel ID all right and that's all you got to do it'll give you all the information in the back end for the Facebook analytics now stage three is targeted marketing layout now a lot of people don't talk about this, but I'm gonna give you guys some game. I don't care what industry you in, I don't care what product you're selling, cause it's all the same shit. You always want to know what zip codes, right, and what location your audience is in. Second, you want to know the age range that your customers are in. Maybe they're from 20 to 50. Doesn't matter. You want to know what the age range your ideal customer is in so zip code location age number three language is really important if even if you're selling right now a english a english product but you you know that your demographic is still spanish and french and creole and jamaican and asian and indian and all those different kind of different you know languages that people speak make sure you add all the languages that your customer speaks into the language part for the Facebook uh, targeted marketing part, okay? Okay, so we got zip code, we got location, we got age, and we got language. All right, so it could be English, it could be French, it could be Spanish, whatever the case may be. This is how you get other money too, because a lot of people don't use this, use that into their marketing campaign. They just want to talk to people who speak English. And then everyone else who don't speak English don't really, you know, get to opt in. But guess what? There's a lot of non-speaking people who got money too. So make sure you add different languages just off the hell of it, right? Number four, we want to talk about your ideal customer interests, right? What are they interested in? So you got your main, you know, you got your main product. But your main product has other subcategories, right? So your main product has other subcategories, right? Meaning, if they like basketball, right? Or you're selling a basketball product, I don't care what it is, right? They may like generically speaking or generally speaking sports period right so basketball people normally like maybe one to two other sports so you guys have to keep that in mind so don't think just because you're selling boots that the person is not gonna you know not want to purchase maybe flip-flops or another pair of boots or a sneaker don't ever assume that they're not thinking about the other subcategories or the other you know lines that shoe where it comes in okay so don't don't make sure that you guys target whatever the main category is and then two make sure you also target some subcategories that's similar to your main category or niche okay now that's interest another thing is that you guys want to focus on there's about like 20 other ones but I was gonna give you the first top five because there's a lot of information to do tonight so I'm gonna give you guys like all the fundamental things that we actually use 
and these are like the the main thing that's going to help you guys um, get get to that two million um, to get in front of over two million people using these strategies and these you know step by step um, these step by step information. Now language, right? Interests, right? The main interest and the subcategory interests, right? And then number five, mainly, you want if you if you say you got a, any kind of product in the world requires people. In most cases, it's going to be a man. It's going to be a female, right? And that's that. It don't get no. It don't get no more simpler than that. But something that you guys want to focus on is that you make sure that you understand. Like, okay, am I selling shoes? Then I need to be selling predominantly to women, but not. But don't cancel out men because some men buy shoes for their lady, right? So it's good to have, you know, your first a. You know, con a uh, marketing campaign goes straight to women. If you're selling shoes or dresses or purses or perfume or whatever case may be, or handbags or hair and weave and all this kind of thing, cool. Do a campaign directly for women. That's cool. But do a do a B campaign to men, because men in most cases will support their lady buying hair or any product in a household. Period. Right or dads. So men, like I said, keep it simple. Is men, is females. These are only the two motherfuckers are on earth that you're going to be marketing to. Period. I don't care what kind of job title it is. I don't care how much money they make. You're marketing to a man, right? If it's predominantly a man type product. Or if it's a female predominant, predominant, um, predominant product, then you're marketing to a female. Right? But do two campaigns. If your main campaign and your main product is a product for a female, run that campaign do what you got to do or you know run it up create a free um post on facebook and run that shit and pick nothing but females you know reach out to over 200 to a thousand females per day and make that your business don't just um follow them right copy and paste or sometimes right sometimes you really can't copy and paste because facebook will pick that shit up but make sure you do um you know recruiting Online, get your product out there. So if you're serious about making money, you're going to be serious about recruiting. That's just the name of the game. Especially if you got to do it free and you're not using, you know, uh, Facebook Ad Manager or Google AdWords just yet with marketing. But my thing is this: if you eating, if you making X amount of money, put anywhere from five dollars, right, per day, for thirty days. That's one. Or even if you have a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars, make sure you put that money into marketing. And make sure every three days you pause your campaign and then you review your can not pause it, but you can't pause it. You can pause your campaign and then review your campaign. Or if you don't want to pause it, which I would probably not do, right? Just every three days review your campaign and if you need to pause it, then pause it. Because you don't want to mess up the algorithm that's already working for you. So just every three days look at the analytics and if it seems like it's off, then pause it. Because you don't want to be spending money without getting the results. Okay, now if the campaign is working, just take a, take a look at the analytics and quickly adjust your campaign so you can optimize and get in front of more people that's actually buying from your website or calling you or coming to your place of business. Okay, like I said, don't keep don't make it complicated. The only type of people that we're that we're going to be marketing to is a man or female. You just have to make sure that your product, you know, whatever it is, make sure that you're marketing to that person or to that. To that um that ginger um you know intentionally and then do a second campaign to do um a campaign to their lady okay or to they to the gentleman that they would or even man or female what the case would be you guys know what i'm saying all right so cool now let's get to the let's get to stage four which is the juicy part now that we've got all the leg work done we got everything built out and we, we understand what the hell is going on Right now we know how to play the game. Now we know how to play the marketing game. Now this is the whole marketing game right here. It's a numbers game, one, and then two, it's a data game. Let's talk about it again. Number one, right? Number one, it's a numbers game. Right, I know people are like what the hell is this guy talking about? Number two, it's a 
data gain. Right? Number three, it's a it's an engagement game, right? Now let's talk about it. How are we gonna get in front of two million people? I'm gonna show you right now. You know, these are the, all the structures that you guys need to have. So number one. It's a numbers game, number two. It's a data game, number three. It's an engagement game. A lot of people don't talk about this, and I'm gonna talk about it tonight. Number one, would Facebook Ad Manager and would Google um, AdWords, they allow you to get in front of X amount of people based on your um, advertising spend costs. So if you spend $5 to $100 to $1,000, right? They're going to give you a meter, right? And it's going to say, okay, boom. Based on your target target information, right? And your um, advertising cost or bid, right? They're going to allow you to get in front of a thousand people, all the way up to. 2 million plus 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 it don't matter they don't care okay so it's all about your bid costs and your target marketing campaign uh, costs throughout the lifetime of you know whatever's inside your account okay so you guys got to make sure that you guys if you guys are on Facebook make sure you put a debit card onto the account right me personally I would use a, a separate debit card just for marketing on Facebook do not use your personal or your business Use a separate debit card for your uh, Facebook ad manager account and use a separate debit card or um, some kind of load card that you guys can use for your Google ad account. Do not use your personal debit cards. Just in case, you know, your campaign runs over more, you don't want that budget to interfere with your personal budget, okay? Now, you can use $5 for 30 days. You can use $100 for 30 days. You can use $1,000 for 30 days, or you can actually spend $1,000 in one day. You can spend five dollars in one day. You can spend a hundred dollars in one day, depending on how aggressive you want to be. But me personally, like I said, it's a numbers game. So the more money you spend, and the better, and the way that you set up your targeted ad campaign, they're gonna show you automatically how many people you can reach up to. So if your goal is two million people in thirty days, they're gonna give you a budget that's gonna help you guys understand how much money that you need to put one, and then two, what. Um, you want to research on Google Trends. You guys want to research on keywords so you guys can understand what words to use to get you guys optimized, what people are searching for, and nonetheless, um, you want to be in rim of what people are actually searching for. So when you guys use Facebook Ad Manager or Google AdWords and you guys have all your keywords, your and you have your whole target marketing layout, that's going to help you get in front of these people because they're going to say, okay, based on the information that you gave us, this is how many people you can potentially get in front of. And here's the cost that you need to do to get in front of the people. Game close. You see what I'm saying? Now you're intentional. I know how much money I need to get in front of 2 million people. Cool. I got my targeted ad campaign mapped out. So now, boom, I know this ad campaign is going to be for these people. And like I said, that's the numbers game. You create an ad, right? Which in most cases could be a video or a picture, you know, some kind of picture content with a call to action, right? Or the hair, or the hair, whatever the case may be, and then you match it with a uh, target, a targeted ad campaign on Facebook Ad Manager or Google AdWords, right? And then you back that with five dollars. You back that with a hundred dollars. You back that with a thousand dollars. Running for thirty days or two months, whatever the case may be. But now you got marketing dollars behind you now to get this ad campaign in front of these two million people effectively, versus you just boosting. Versus you just sharing all your friends and family and then burning them out. They're like, God damn, I don't want to keep seeing your damn ad. Like that, and that's real talk. I remember when I started, I was just posting like a maniac thinking I'm going get to my, get my bread up because people going to see my post and support. And that's not the name of the game because I just told you. Marketing your brand or marketing your product and services, it's a numbers game. You cannot just rely on your friends and family. Okay. You have to leverage Facebook, you have to leverage YouTube, you also have to leverage Instagram and Google AdWords. Because by using these back 
backdoor uh, platforms, they allow you to buy in to the data, right? Let's go, let's go back to it. Number two, it's a data game, right? Facebook, Instagram, Google AdWords, and YouTube, once you buy into the paid campaign, um, you know, platform, right? They're going to allow you to play in the data that they collected on their customers. And guess what? Facebook got billions. Google got billions, right? YouTube got billions. So there's not really, you know, there's no better place to be to, but to be on these platforms and use Google AdWords to your advantage. Use Facebook AdWords ad manager to your advantage and then use YouTube uh, Creator Studio for your advantage for uploading your content game close you see what i'm saying now last but not least like i said it's an engagement game right now the reason why i'm talking about engagement because your content even if it's a video or an actual picture or imagery num i'm gonna give you guys two tips number one when it comes down to youtube just keep a, a dope commercial or do a dope podcast don't add too many things into it right besides the the um the aesthetics like you know your mic and certain things like that. You don't, you don't want to add too many things into it, like different brands and and stuff like this. Keep it you know clean, bright. You know just like this. I got a little light on, but it's a little dark tonight, right? But have certain things where you know your camera is clean, right? Versus me, and I got a, I got a camera I just purchased, but I'm still using the Logic uh, 1080 um, 1080p. It's a dope you know it's a dope vibe, right? It's very clean. I got the mic, so the audio is right. And this is guy. This is things you guys want to do. But when you guys are creating content, just be conscious that if it's a product, make sure it's the best picture that you can possibly take of your product, right? If you have a brick and water business, make sure the imagery of you dealing with your customers, walking through the doors, make sure the floor clean, make sure the imagery is right. So when you actually put that on on Facebook or YouTube, where people are searching you and they look at your page and they look at your reviews, they look at your content, they look at your pictures. Oh, this shit makes sense. This guy's credible. Oh crap, this lady business is on point. Right? People, you know, like I said, it's an engagement, and this is how you get the proper engagement. It's about the quality, it's about the presentation, it's about the story that you give them. Keep it very simple. When you guys are having when you got a video about, you know, someone jogging in some sneakers, right? Whatever the case may be, or you got your t shirt business or your hair business or your cleaning company, whatever the case may be, they want to see the video really express the features and benefits of your product and services. So if you're saying your sneakers are durable, do something in the video that shows that your sneakers are durable. Wash it, throw something on it, da da da. You guys see all the commercials. So like I said, by you by, by you guys being entrepreneurs, side hustlers, um, business owners, small business owners, um, you know, whatever the case may be, whatever it is that you do, from zero all the way to a million, don't matter. You guys have so many, um, um, what do you call it? Um, representation that you guys can actually rely on you guys seen commercials for the past you know if you, if you were 80s baby you don't seen commercial for the past 30 years we all know what a commercial should have in it so let's not act like when it comes down to building our own brand to building our own legacy we should know what kind of content to put together or at least have a great way of, of what it is and like i said the main thing is when you guys are creating content if it's a picture a video or ad campaign when you're talking to your customers when you're selling a product we all know what people want to know we all know what people want to hear sorry people want to know about the features and the benefits and what separate you from the other person sometimes if you got to go that way but other than that people love to buy brands where they understand clearly what the hell it is like the Josh Harkness show right is real information based on real results in real time right now is a live show if someone want to call me right now I, they can call me right now do a 30 minute call and i'll help them with their brand boom or their marketing or their credit whatever the case may be or, or a real estate deal whatever the case may be but i'm here live right and me being live it just building more credibility on the brand of my of my podcast show or my live show period right there's not too many people who can jump on here and go through an hour worth of content and it's not pre-recorded. They gotta they gotta pre-record shit. I'm giving you shit straight out because it's all up here. I don't need to play that game with you guys. I've really been through certain shit. You feel me? So it, it forced me to understand things and get up on game, right? And get certain things situated, especially in this COVID-19. So people gotta understand. All right, cool. The reason why I'm confident now because 
I done did everything I had to do. So if I if I get a pen, a board, and a pen, and keep it just straight, I'm gonna still get the best results because I'm giving you guys real, clean information that works, not just hearsay, not just looking at another creator and then mashing up his. No, this is information that I use. I put money behind this. You feel me? So I want everyone to understand. Anytime you guys see the Josh Hartnett show pop on, yeah, best to believe you better go grab a pen and grab a pad and go write this shit down because this is how people play the game. And I'm giving the shit away for free. Cause I want, I want everyone that watched the show. I want people that's in in our environment. When you share, you like it. You guys getting the best value out there for free. And this information here is step by step. I give you guys, I give you guys companies. I gave you direct strategy on what to do. You feel me? And if you guys need to get access to me, that's free of charge. If you guys want to uh, reach out to me, make sure you guys drop a message in the live show or go to the Facebook page, which is the Josh Harkness. A live show drop a comment there you guys can reach uh, reach me on uh, the YouTube page as well the Josh Harkins live show right nonetheless you guys can reach out to me directly at 718-500-8705 this is your boy Josh and this is the Josh Harkins show that was kind of whack but hold on so <clears throat> I know the other night um, and that's tonight's lesson plan, by the way, okay? So we we just went through how to build your credit um, up to $52,000 tonight. Uh, we also show you how to build out your um, your marketing uh, campaign and structure it the right, the right way so you can get in front of over 2 million people, right, by using Facebook Ad Manager, Google AdWords, and uh, YouTube uh, Creator Studio, okay? And then we just went over all the stages that you want to follow to get all this stuff done the proper way, right? Um, and then we went into business uh, marketing strategies to let you guys know that, number one, it's a numbers game. Don't get it twisted. Take your marketing dollars, even if it's $5, $100 to $1,000, make sure you put that budget together and get in front of um, your targeted audience, meaning the people that, that potentially will buy from you or the people that potentially say, okay, this product is for you. Make sure you get in front of those people by adding, you know, the zip code, the location, the age of the person, the demographic information, their job title, their date of birth, right? Or, or what a case may be, right? Um, where they're located is, is, is main important. The age, right? Um, when we're talk, talking about their interests, Right. If a person likes sneakers, guess what? They may like shoes. So don't don't ever don't ever underestimate the main category versus the subcategory. You want to kind of have a good balance of both. So if you got, you know, five different types of shoes that you're selling, great. Add maybe boots in there, add sneakers, because just the person who like heels or the person who like curly weave <laughs> or the person who like this shirt, they may like a regular plain white shirt. Right. Someone who like this chain may like the, the chain in the middle, too. It's still chain related. Right. So don't ever not, uh, you know, never not put those subcategories into your marketing campaign because a watch somebody like the bracelet or the ring. You see what I'm saying? So just keep this. Make sure you keep, you know, keep your eyes open and make sure that you write out that targeting marketing campaign. How we just show you the right way. You want to write down everything about that customer that you're trying to get in front of and make sure you use that information inside of Facebook ad manager inside of Google AdWords so now you can build out that target market campaign the right way and then once you add your dollar your marketing dollars for your bids and things like this now you can buy into the data on Facebook because they collected that customer information already right also a bonus tool that I want you guys to write down uh, real quick guys a bonus tool to help you guys with like um, Autobots, automate, auto, automation, um, and all this stuff is called ManyChat.com. That's one of the things that we use. All right, so ManyChat.com. I'm not sending you no link. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm just telling you straight off, straight off the rip. It's a good company to mess with. So um, you gotta have a Facebook page, but go on to ManyChat tonight. Right, that's M-A-N-Y-C-H-A-T.com. Check them out. I'm talking about, yo, you can send people your videos, your website, all your social media platforms. And it's all in one lo one location. You feel what I'm saying? And if you have multiple different brands, you can actually add all your other TV shows or whatever your brands are, your websites, all to that one platform and have all your marketing campaigns right there. And it's free. 
I think that they, everything that I got so far is free. They haven't even charged me right now. So if they do have a paid thing, they probably do. I don't know. But what I have right now is absolutely free and it works for me. Um, another tool, right? I'm very big on research. So if you guys aren't researching before you guys are marketing to people, you're doing yourself a disservice. So you guys know my formula is R T S S A and an R to the third power. Right. So let me give you guys this bonus, this bonus um, real quick as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So this bonus I want to give you guys real quick is the formula that I that I use before I do anything. All right. So it's R T S S A and an R to the third power. OK, so that's the formula that we use. So it's research, test, sell, scale, automate. Right. And then R to the third power is going to be. Image right here. It's called re invest. Right? Re reinvest. Re re innovate. Right? And last but not least, restructure. Sometimes you may need to restructure whatever it is that you're doing. Right? Very important that you guys do this. And keep your eyes on it. And then, like I said, R is research. T is test. S is sell, right? The other S is scale, right? The A is for automate, right? And then R to the third power is right there, okay? With the R to the third power, okay? So once again, thank you guys for joining me at the Josh Harkins Live Show. I love you guys. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to me, um, 718-500-8705. Um, like the content, share the content, make sure you guys watch the, um, the replays that drops on Facebook as well as on the, uh, YouTube page, right? It's very important for you guys to support, right? Especially at this time, I'm giving away free content. All I'm asking for is a couple of likes and a couple of shares and ain't that serious. But the more people you get in front of, I can continue doing what I'm doing. You feel what I'm saying? Um, and that's just what it is, what it is, right? So I'm going to try to, you know, as much as I possibly can. Give you guys as much, you know, content and things like this. We're also going to, you know, turn up. Well, I'm going to give you guys some live, 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 live trainings. And I also have a three-day um, online workshop. So if you, if you haven't subscribed to that online workshop, you guys bugging right now. Because I'm just showing you guys what I do on a blackboard or on a, on a you know, on a, on a whiteboard. What I do when I get inside that computer is a whole different world. Right. I'm talking about making commercials. I'm talking about how to make your thumbnails. I'm talking about how to do keyword um, optimization, how to search it, how to structure it for your brand, how to write your content, how to do a commercial, how to shop up your Shopify store, how to set up your Amazon store. Right. The Amazon store, um, how to set up your own personal brand, how to set up your private label brand, how to set up your licensing, how to set up your trademarking, how to do your logo. Like I'm telling you, we be going in. So when you join the Josh Harkness live show, please understand we feeding you guys over here. We want we want everyone to be litty for the city. <laughs> anyway, this is your boy Josh. Thank you for joining the Josh Harkness live show today. Right, we turn it up a little bit, trying to have some fun. Um, and also another uh, key thing I want to tell you guys or share with you guys, uh, especially in this downtime. One of the main key things, the reason why I'm able to stay consistent, and I was telling um, my girl this today too, is that I focus on getting up when I'm rested, which is very important. I focus on getting up when I'm rested. Not saying, you know, I'm going to sleep till 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. That's just foolish. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is I make sure that when I do get up, I'm rested. So let's put it this way. In order to get up rested, you need to go to sleep. At a certain amount of time, right? You need a patience. I would say, okay, all right, I'm good with six hours. I'm good with five hours. Cause that's how my body is. Or I'm good with eight hours. I'm good with nine hours, right? So before you do anything in life, it's all about health and rest, right? Now, if you're going to run it up and do whatever you got to do and go crazy because you feel like you need to do that, then you're doing yourself a disservice again because um, your grind should not be based on you losing sleep. That don't make sense. So just keep it a buck. That don't make sense. You losing sleep don't make sense. I'm telling you right now. 
I don't work. I'm talking about off of two, three hours of sleep, sleeping at 34th Street. You feel me? Getting up, make sure my pop's good, make sure my baby, you know, get dropped off to school, do whatever I got to do, go back to work, manage these stores, go back to work, manage these, you know, these, these people, places of business and these employees, right? Boom. And then build my little business at night. So I'm doing nine to nine. You feel me? Sleeping at 34th Street. You feel me? I never told nobody this shit before. You feel me? I will go home in Jersey, go take a shower, make sure my pop's good, make sure my baby good, run back to Brooklyn, go drop her off to school, and then run all the way out to Queens and go to work. You feel me? So when I'm telling you the grind, that ain't what it is, bro. The word grind means grind. That means applying pressure to something to potentially break it or to bring it down to fucking nothing. And that's what you're doing to your body when you think you grinding. No, that's not grinding, bro. That's not grinding, ladies. You feel me? You going to fucking break. I just had a phone call with one of my guys today. He's like, yo, bro. Yeah, I, I, I know I was gone, da da da. Like, I was, I was depressed, bro. I done got locked up. I'm not eating right, da 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 da. And I know him. Like, we had offices together. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, I knew his Facebook page was going crazy. And shout out to my guy because we're we about to turn up. But at the end of the day, that's when you grinding too hard. We talk about the burnout. So anytime we do a one-on-one -on -one session with me, we always going to talk about the burnout. The burnout is that you're doing so much for the money that you're losing money because you can't maintain it because you're burning out. You can't, you're going to work late. You feel me? you yelling at people. You feel me? I done been there, done that. Because you're grinding too hard. You're grinding too hard. You're putting too much time and you're not getting the proper amount of rest. You're not putting the right things in your body. You understand what I'm saying? And this shit is important, especially right now what we in. Get that get that um elderberry. You feel me? Get that multivitamin. Right? Take some long showers. Get that get your body steamed up and loosen. You know, work out in the morning as much as you possibly can. Have some conversation and have some conversation with your kids and make sure you love up on them. You feel me? Or anyone that's around your circle. These are important things right now because a lot of people getting twisted that it's all about the grind. It's all about the grind. Nigga, you can't even sit down. When the last time you really sat down besides COVID-19? Think about it. When's the last time you really sat down like, yo, I ain't got to do nothing because I'm good. You can't. Because the grind, the grind ain't designed for you to sit down. The grind is made there so you can break the fuck down. That's what it's really there for. Right? So I'm going to tell everyone tonight, the reason why I am successful, right, is because I get sleep. I get rest. I made that a thing to do i focus on my preparation for the next day you feel me i make sure i eat good i make sure i speak you know positive as much as i possibly can and i'm all i always like i'm not a big reader i'm a, I'm a big podcaster right so i love audio i love music i'm always making sure my spirit is in the right way even though i'm fucking crazy as shit and i may pop at any moment just on some sideways shit but at the end of the day i make sure i'm feeding myself good vibes all the time just in case so if someone do try to throw me throw a little you know fork in a row i'm good boom i can dodge that I, I, i'm good i'm rested i done ate good my stomach good i ain't even but a nigga just even cut me a line i'm like damn bro really you just cut me a line like if it was a the other josh you feel me it'd have been a whole different story so people understand get your rest put good stuff in your body focus on good vibes right i love music right if, if, if it's church music Throw it on. If it's a little bit of that trap music, throw it on, right? If it's trap music, I, what I always do with trap music, because the content could be a little off, or certain music could be a little off, I don't care. It could be any music. But if the message is off, what I like to do, I like to listen to just the instrumental, right? There's nothing wrong with just the beat. I don't need all that weird content. I don't need that. I'm too grown for that right now, honestly speaking. Two kids now. I don't need that weird content. I love the beat. I'll rock the beat out. You feel me? So be conscious about what you put in your body. Be conscious about preparation. Be conscious about the grind that you're on, right? Now, another tip I want to give you guys for tonight, because we have we already had a lesson plan. So if you guys are joining me tonight, go back into the lesson plan. You guys see all the great content we just did. $50,000 in business credit. No, in personal credit. Sorry, tonight. And then we show you how to get in front of too many people. And we give you guys advanced business marketing strategies to get your shit lit lit. Okay? But now another key for you guys, you know, I was thinking about it today too, is... um. You know, we do everything 
um, based around protection. A lot of people don't understand that men and women, I don't care who you are. If you got, if you, for your personal, for yourself and then for your family, it's protection. So if you're not protecting your grind or managing your grind properly, then you're burning yourself out. That's one. Number two, if you're not managing and protecting your finances, you're losing money. It is what it is. We talked about the other night. Money only do two things. It goes from you or it comes to you. That's the, only, that's the rule of money. It goes from you or it comes to you. That's money. So if you're not focused on bringing more money in and you spending more money, you're not protecting your bread. You're not doing the right thing. Your thought process is off. Number three, protect your body, especially right now. Wear a mask. Wear a fucking mask. <laughs> Don't go out. Don't be running out the house every fucking 10 fucking four minutes. You don't need to do that shit right now. I literally don't go out the crib unless it's for food, for some bread, for my kids, right? Or some random miscellaneous shit that I have to do. If it ain't none of those sorts, I'm not going outside. Period. Right? Number four. Make sure... You protect your brain. Because if you're not protecting your brain and what you put in it or what you're around, that's like one of the worst things ever, right? You have to understand that you got to keep yourself in a positive comfort zone, right? Your comfort zone should be positive, not nothing else besides that. So um, that's that's number you know four. Number five, control your environment. The reason why I'm happy is because I know what's in my environment. Before I didn't know that. I had weird motherfuckers here and there, weird ass, weird ass relationships, you feel me? And just putting myself in weird situations where, you know, it's all about this, it's all about that, it's all about this, it's all about that. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful about the environment that you're in. You have to be in a controlled environment. Unfortunately, I know control sounds like a weird word and how I'm putting it, but all I'm saying is take the time and just understand that you want to be in an environment where it's good, it's healthy, you feel me, it's bright, you feel me? Don't be in no kind of environment where it's weird, it's uncomfortable, you're not wanted. Don't be in those kind of fucking environments, don't do it. It ain't good for you, period. I don't give a fuck what you're telling yourself, do not do it. Alright, anyway, it's your boy Josh, thank you for joining the Josh Harden Live show. Catch us on YouTube and also catch us on Facebook for the replay. Have a good night, guys. Love you guys. Enjoy the night.